Hi, this is the second video on headache. Headache in the elderly. Headache in the elderly should always be treated seriously. It could be announcing a mass in the brain, a subarachnoid hemorrhage, or other serious problem. Headache in children. Most headaches in children can be associated with respiratory infections, or when a child is sick and has a fever. Sinus headaches are not common in young children. Since the frontal sinuses do not develop until the fifth year of life, it is unlikely that a sinusitis will be evident until later. Migraine does occur in children. It is infrequent in those below the age of seven, but increases in frequency as children mature into their teens. The newly born, called neonates, and children of six to 12 months of age can be at risk for meningitis, and this must always be considered. Space occupying lesions of the brain, such as a mass, particularly if the headaches progress to being more severe, must be considered. A tension headache. Tension headache is aptly named because it is usually associated with tension that the patient is experiencing from stressful situations. Muscle contraction, which is typically on both sides of the head and symmetrical, causes a sensation of tightness. The pain may be described as an ache, a pressure, a tightness. Its frequency can be daily. Its duration can be hours long. It can get progressively worse throughout the day. Treatment will usually consist of educating the patient on the causes of the headache. Instructions on how the patient may address an acute occurrence of the headache. Instructions on relaxation techniques. And instruction on other lifestyle modifications in order to reduce stress and tension in the patient's life. Medication is usually mild analgesics for pain, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, such as ibuprofen and Tylenol. The physician may decide to add an antidepressant medication if the headaches do not appear to be resolving or improving with lifestyle modification changes and mild analgesics. Migraine. Migraine is more common in females between the ages of 20 to 50 years of age. There are different types of migraines. The classic migraine has headache, vomiting, and an aura. An aura is a warning sign of the onset of the migraine that usually occurs before the headache. The aura can last for five to 60 minutes. Most common auras consist of visual symptoms such as flashing lights, zigzag lines or blind spots in your vision. A common migraine is a migraine but without an aura. A migraine is usually one-sided along the side and frontal area of the head. It is usually intense. A patient can have one to two episodes a month. The onset is usually sudden and intense. Sleep may produce relief. It can be accompanied by nausea, vomiting, and irritability. Stress is an aggregating factor. Certain foods may be triggering agents. Treatment is directed toward resolving an acute attack and putting together a plan for preventing and or reducing the frequency and severity of future attacks. An acute attack should be treated quickly. The patient should rest in a quiet and darkened room. The patient should avoid coffee and tea. The patient should avoid watching TV during an attack. Initial medication may be Tylenol if the headache is mild. If the headache is more severe, then a family of medications called triptans may be useful. These medications are often used in treating migraines. Triptans effectively relieve the pain and other symptoms that are associated with migraines. They are available on pill, nasal spray, and injection form. A list of triptan medications include sumatriptan, also known as imitrex. 
Rhizotryptin, also known as Mexalt. Almotryptin, also known as Exert. And there are others. Some physicians may decide to start with a medicine called an ergot. Ergots, or ergotamine and caffeine combination drugs, such as midgergot or caffragot, are less effective than tryptans. Anti-nausea medications may also be prescribed by the physician. Opiate medications containing narcotics, particularly codeine, are sometimes used to treat migraine pain for people who can't take tryptans or ergots. But currently, opiates are being used much less than previously. Now, steroids, such as prednisone and dexamethasone, may be used with these other medications to improve pain relief. But long-term use of steroids can have side effects that are detrimental. Your physician will select the appropriate medications and inform you of their use. If you have any questions about them, make sure you ask the physician to answer all your questions. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.